Um, so right now we are at the president's house, that is uh, Dr. Chishimba Kambuili, um, where we're trying to have, a, or, or where we are going to have a press conference. Uh, the joint press conference will be addressed uh, by our vice president, uh, Mr. Joseph uh, Riki Akafumba, as well as um, the UPND president, um, uh, Mr. Hakainde Hichilema. Right now, Mr. Hichilema has already arrived. Um, this is, uh, uh, Ms. Masewa is also here. Um, our vice president and other members of the NDC are here. I'm sure you saw what happened yesterday when our president was convicted um, of one of uh, those many, many uh, cases that they have against him. So this press uh, uh, briefing is about that. We want to talk about uh, what happened and also the way forward uh, for our members. Who else is doing my
them on silent the people that are doing live feed right now Counting now. Five, four, three, two, one, start. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we know how blessed and gracious you are. This is the day that you have made. We gather here not out of our will, but out of your will. Yesterday we witnessed the sentencing of our president, the father and leader of our nation, President Dr. Shimba Kamwiri. This is what has brought us together this morning to inform the nation of the difficulties that this land has begun to go through. We thank you for President Hakainde Hichilema because of his love for his nation and his people and the concern for his brother. He arrived from Umansa to Apra province this morning and made sure that he was part of this press briefing. The guidance of the leadership of the NDC greatly thanks our Heavenly Father for your presence, Mr. President, also your delegation. We come together to chart a way forward of how this nation should react to the issues and problems that we are going through. Therefore, as our Vice President speaks to us, together with the European League President, let the nation listen. We ask all this 
through the devoted name of our Lord and Savior, who is Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. Your friends. First of all, let me sincerely apologize for the, the delay in addressing this press briefing. <coughs> this press briefing arises from what transpired yesterday. First of all, let me thank the people who were at court and those who have supported us throughout the trial of President Sike. That is the press. And yesterday, President Nevers Mumba and the Vice President were in attendance, as well as the UPND, who were well represented. Had they not been blocked by the police at the gate, I think they could have filled up the entire country. So we are really indebted for that and we are grateful for the support. I keep saying that a true friend is identified when you are in trouble. The normal human nature, or may I say that normal human nature, is when one is in problems, friends scatter. So we value your coming, Mr. President. You have come to see us as NDC and also to console the family of our president. We deliberately chose to hold this press briefing here to signify one thing, that even if our president is in incarceration now, he is still our president and remains our president. Now, coming to the issue of uh, the judgment for yesterday, we did conduct a search at court, and we found that in the last 10 years, Musamba having been a magistrate, this is the fastest judgment that he has delivered in court. I will repeat. We did conduct a search at court, and we found that in the last 10 years, this is the fastest judgment Simusamba delivered in the last two weeks. Therefore, your guess is as good as mine. If at all he was working at this speed, I think it was going to congest the number of remandees. The judgment was delivered, but one thing which we noted, which I want the nation to know, is that in his judgment, he told us that the complaint by Tayari, after I got information from his informers on the Copper Bell, he went, Tayari went to inform Amos Chan, who was at the time the press secretary to President Lungu, and in turn Amos Chanda told President, President Lungu. Simusamba said in his judgment that they could not arrest CK at the time because he was a serving minister. So, President Lungu, after firing President CK, he immediately arrested him. So, to us, this has been a political persecution by President Lungu and the peer. That is what they wanted. I'm not going to go into details of judgment, because that's in public domain, and it's a subject of the appeal. So PF have all along, including all the cases that are already before court, tried to get CK where they have put him, to weaken him, to weaken his spirit. But I can assure the nation that the man is not broken and is as strong as ever. In defense of the government. Yesterday we quickly applied for bail pending appeal. The magistrate, in his wisdom, refused to entertain it 
and he has put the date of 20th October, which is next week, Tuesday, to hear and determine the bail application. Ordinarily, things being equal, he should have heard and determined the bill, the, the bail application. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, a bail is a right. But under these circumstances where we are, where PF has broken all the institutions of governance, it's only the PF who are above the law. It is in public domain that the three quarters of the minister who have made a semblance of an appearance into the courts of law, all of them got acquitted. Others got knowledge in extremely, very, very, very serious cases. That is not the way it should be in a normal and a democratic society where all human beings are equal before the law. We will fight for CK. We will fight for CK. We are alive and aware that there are some cases that are pending. We know the schemes that the PF are up to. But we want to tell them that this time we are going to put more volume. If the idea is to silence us, if the idea is to silence us, then my lash. Our crusade is to liberate this country. We cannot sit here seeing our brothers and sisters starving, our brothers and sisters jobless, while well, it's only the PF who are immune to hunger. We know that the PF have done this because they want to block President Kambuidi from achieving his political aspirations. We saw yesterday on the on the uh, platform where they were saying President Kambuidi is gone and dusted, he will never stand again because he's a con. Let me make this very clear. The exclusion clauses in the constitution are only two. Number one, when you are serving a prison sentence. By implication, it means you are in prison, you cannot go out and campaign. The second one is when you have served the term of three years. So to us, we have to fight to ensure that CK comes out of jail. So to me, those don't apply to CK. So if, again, that's what they wanted to achieve, my lash again. The law is very clear. The law is very clear on who is barred from standing. We we'll see them as we go. But you know, PF is the only party that have people who are qualified to speak in tongues. <laughs> <laughs> they say one thing in the morning, the other in the afternoon, the other in at midnight. They deny everything that they have said. <laughs> so we are aware of their, of, of their schemes. We also know that they are unsettled with their lives. That much we are aware and we have been informed. Even themselves, they have, conf they have confirmed and confessed to us that we are not going to allow this alliance of President HH and CK. Because Mulefu are putting at the That's what they've told us. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. And they've done this just to dent the image of, of CK to buy him and also discourage him in the alliance. CK is a very strong man. To me, he's my president and a friend. He's a friend of mine, and I know how strong and determined that CK is. So you cannot break him with this fake imprisonment that you are trying to impose on him. The alliance now is, in fact, more stronger than it was before. Okay, yes. Jesus Christ baptized by holy water, PF, you have now baptized us by fire. Yes. So it's more volume and more fire. Yes. To all our members countrywide, don't be discouraged. These are just 
political gymnastics which we expect. I think an example is just with us here. President HH spent 127 days on Trump Trump. That could not stick. We also know here that the, the gassing issue was meant for him. But, but, but it failed. We also know here that this nonsense which they are talking about of privatization, where 279 plus companies were privatized, they only pick one. We know that it's, a, it's about HH. But much this is an alliance, it means well. You just prepare, pack, and go. So we want to, I do not want to take this press briefing far because you have been here too long, but I want to appeal to all our structures, countrywide, that if at all you are operating in the gear three, move to gear four. Father speed in fun. speed. We only have 10 months to make sure we liberate this country. So, Faka, Faka, Faka speed. Don't be discouraged. If you really loved and cared for CK, this is the time to show. And the only proof that you can show that you loved and cared for CK is Faka speed in organizing NDC. Yeah. Don't get discouraged. Don't listen to the PF. They've already, come, they've already started coming, Mr. President, mm. with all sorts of stories. Please, don't listen to them. This is their architect. This is their baby, and this is what they wanted. But because the money was strong for them, that's why they did what they did at court. CK is strong, and I want to assure you, Mr. President, that your brother is in good spirit. This war is not for him, fighting for all of us who are here. So let's put him in prayers so that he remains strong. For now, I thank you all, and I'll hand over to President H. Thank you very much, uh, um, Vice President. Uh, first and foremost, to appreciate your delivery, very, very effective delivery, and um, to thank the Kambwili family, CK family, for allowing us um, to be part of uh, this uh, press briefing at their home, at their home. So thank you very much to the family and uh, also to the uh, leaders, other leaders of the NDC. And uh, many of you are here, I, I can see that. But um, also to thank uh, uh, the SG, I think chairman specifically of the party and others, my, my dear colleagues here. And the general membership, Mr. Pella, you are the ones who have the strength in any organization, so thank you to you. Viva Youth Viva! Viva! But uh, I know my colleague, Madam Masewo, is here as well. Thank you so much. I think Vice President has covered it all, by and large, on our behalf. I speak for myself here. I speak for my family. I speak for the UPND family. I speak for the Alliance because I consulted my colleagues, including our chairman, President Milupi, who is in Mongo. He would have loved to have been here with us, but he's in Mongo. So he's aware that I'm here. He has asked me to speak on the Alliance's behalf as well. And I believe we speak on behalf of millions of Zambians who are hurting out there. As the VP has put it, 
unjustifiably hurting out there. A country that is supposed to offer so much to its people is actually not offering nothing, but is taking away even the little that the citizen has. This is a situation that is obtaining in our country. That includes taking away our fundamental rights, mm -hmm. liberties, freedom. Mm -hmm. CK's situation, I said it to the family inside, and strengthen the family, must never be viewed as a case of criminality. It truly shouldn't be. It should rightly be viewed as a case of taking away a citizen's rights, liberties and freedoms. He doesn't belong where he spent a night in. He belongs to this home. He belongs here. He's there because we have an autocratic regime. We have a brutal regime. Yeah. And we must acknowledge that. We have a regime taking away children's right to education. <laughs> a regime taking away employment to the youth. The very regime that promised more jobs is taking away even the little jobs that our people have. It's taking away business opportunities from our mothers in the markets. You just have to see the trouble, the violence in the bus stops orchestrated by a party that is supposed to protect citizens. It's the one orchestrating militia behavior in the bus stops, in the markets, everywhere. Even on roads. Yesterday, we were attacked several times on the road by a small, tiny number in each location. Because everywhere, people want change. And I think the reaction by the small number in PF that are benefiting is to become more violent more brutal and keeping CK in prison in detention where he doesn't belong. My message to the family inside here is be strong. It's a passing phase. It's a process that we have to go through. I know my colleague talked of 127 days. That was only the last detention. I've been detained 15 times by this regime. I know most Zambians are not conscious of my heart is out with CK. Our hearts are out with CK. So, in a nutshell, I am saying to you, I say to the family, be strong. I'm saying to NDC members, vice president of the team, be strong. This is a time to be united. This is not the time to start polarizing yourselves over issues that are of no consequence. This is a time to bond. And we expect you to be strong, then we, the Alliance, can add more glue to that bondage. That's our message. Our message to the nation is that it's darkest before dawn. It's darkest before dawn. If you want to say, all of this will come to an end. But we have to remain strong as a nation, as a people. But we must also remove fear. Because what's happening to CK, it's happening because most of us are afraid of standing up for our rights. Mm -hmm. I call upon the people of Zambia to stand up for your rights. <coughs> Today is CK. Tomorrow it's you. The other day it's another person. I couldn't believe what I was hearing. I was saying to the VP here, reading as I was driving in the night from Kasama, actually, Chairman Kasama from Kasama, mm. uh, through Mpika, I'm sure you all followed, that a lunatic was celebrating the <laughs> sentencing of uh, Sike. I couldn't believe. Mm -hmm. What sort of lunacy is that? Mm. You, you encourage the brutal action against your fellow citizens? There's something else. There's something going on in this country where we're losing basic values. Mm -hmm. Basic care for each other. Something wrong. And I think we know where it's coming from. It's from the rotten leadership. 
when the leadership is rotten, it cascades downwards. And people lose the human face, the human mind. So I shouldn't say too much because the VP has expressed it very well. <clears throat> I'm calling out the nation that we've been in struggles before to deliver independence. We worked together. We didn't segregate each other. And we delivered independence. Every time we work together against evil, evil against the rest of us, the people and what's right and the right side of history, we've succeeded. Independence, we all work together. We succeeded. Colonialists went. I was saying to the daughter here, Sike's daughter, that others fought for independence. Otherwise, you wouldn't live in this place. This was a white man's place. Sike is fighting for the new independence. So I was encouraging the child, the daughter. 91, we stood together again against one party state. We didn't segregate each other. It was always, it's always when there's a divide of two groups, the bad and the right. 1991, it was one party state dictatorship, and all that was bad with it, and the rest of the people. The people won. 2001, the people stood against the term. The people won. 2021, there is another call to duty. We draw the line. On the left is the bad, is the peer, is the corrupt, is the surrogates, like the one we were celebrating yesterday. Over CK is arrested. So we can carry no organizer, go yipa like that. <laughs> and then the other side is what is right, is where the people are, is where CK is, is where we are. UPND is where the alliance is, and many other right thinking zombies. So just a divide. We can't have a middle ground. We can't have a middle ground. There is no middle ground. There's only a line in between. PF and the bad and the corrupt and the brutal. And on the other side, it's all of us and the people. And we shall win as it was in the 60s, as it was in the 90s. So it shall be in 20. 21 over. <laughs> now, the PF will start approaching you, Imemi Sepera. The youth wing of NDC, they will start approaching these senior people. Now your president is in. Come to us. Where, where are you going? Where would you go? You want to go in the stench? Then you come out and put perfume and think you are smelling nice. No. <laughs> you be smelling very bad. Stay where you are. It is the PF scheme to put CK in there to shake you, to shake us. Understand that. My dear brothers and sisters. Understand that. So let's stay firm. That's my encouragement. Let's stay strong. Let's stay united and we shall overcome. Having said that, I know CK will be out soon. He'll be joining us. He'll be joining you very soon. I know. I know. Oh. I know. <laughs> when you are there, one day looks like one month. I also know that every day you, st you stay in there, you are closer to coming out. I know. Because I've seen it myself. I was on the death row myself. Treason is death row. I was offered uh, some kamo kamo. I said, hey, 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 I don't do those things. <laughs> so let's not encourage CK to be weakened there by our weakness outside. Mm -hmm. It's my message. Mm -hmm. Zambia. I think Nalanda Pafla. Nakamba, you have heard from the VP, you've heard from me, and through us, you've heard from the nation. <coughs> Walk with your heads high, don't look down. Look up, be confident, be strong.
Moukose. Les amis, pas. If we have questions for either President H.H. -H or our VIP, I will come to ask. <laughs> If there are no questions.